Hey guys, it's Jeff Johnson from undergroundtraininglab.com and today I'm going to show you a WordPress affiliate plugin that can help you generate more affiliate commissions from every person that visits your website. I'm also going to share with you several real life examples of the affiliate offers that have made me the most money using the plugin so you can use them as a template for your own offers. I will also reveal the exact affiliate offer that generates over three times as many affiliate sales. Now most people think of this plugin as a list building tool. However, building a list is not what we're using for today. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the plugin as a tool to show several different types of affiliate offers on your website. Affiliate offers that are designed to help you generate more affiliate commissions from every visitor to your website without collecting or sending a single email. Now, the name of the plugin is Optin Monster, and I've been using it for years, and you'll find it through my affiliate link at monsterplugin.com. Here's how it works. Instead of using it to build an email list, I actually use Monster Plugin to create different types of affiliate pop-up offers that contain my affiliate link. And when someone clicks on one of those pop-ups, they are sent to the affiliate site via my affiliate link and I earn a commission if they buy something. Now, before we take a look at some real life examples of my best performing pop-ups and my best converting offers, let's talk about a few design elements that all good pop-ups have in common. First, you want to try to avoid blocking too much of the content on your page because you want your pop-ups to stand out, but you don't want your pop-ups to cause frustration for your visitor because a frustrated visitor will leave your website without doing anything that you want them to do. You also don't want to use too many pop-ups because the last thing you want is for your visitor to feel like they've been caught in a pop-up tornado. And once again, pop-up tornadoes, too many pop-ups, they cause frustrations for your visitors and those visitors will leave without taking the action that you want them to take, which is click the pop-up. So don't use too many pop-ups. Now your goal for a pop-up is to get them to click the button. That's what's called the action button. So design your pop-up to get the click. And you want your action button to really stand out by using a bright color that doesn't appear anywhere else on the page. And I'll show you several examples of this in just a minute. You also want to use multiple different types and styles of pop-ups. Use a floating bar on one page, a slide up on the next page, and a fade in on the next. Keep mixing it up, especially when you have more than one pop-up on the same page. And you want to use your best selling products and your best converting offers for your pop-ups. Don't try to get them to buy something that nobody else wants to buy. Go for the easy sale by showing them your hottest products and your best converting offers. Now that's it for the design tips, so let's take a look at several real life examples of how I use Monster Plugin to generate extra affiliate commissions on one of my affiliate blogs in the survival niche. Now example number one is what's known as a floating bar pop-up, and that's because it's a bar that just simply floats on the page. So as they go from page to page on this website, at the very bottom of each page, there's this little gray and green bar that just floats there. And because it appears on every single page of my website, I call it my site-wide affiliate offer. And because I'm showing it to them on every single page, I want to make sure it's one of my strongest offers, one of my best-selling products. So it's actually something that I've given away hundreds, if not thousands, of samples for. And it says, free waterproof survival lighter, check it out. And then they have two choices. There's a bright green button that doesn't appear anywhere else on the page. Just that button's bright green, and it says, free survival lighter. And then there's another gray dull button that says no thanks. Well, the action that I want them to take is I want them to click that bright green button that says free survival letter. That's why I designed this the way that I did. And when they click the green button, they're taken over to the affiliate site. And if they order a free sample, I earn a commission. Example number two is what's known as a slide in pop up. And that's where it just slides onto the page. Now, in this particular example, it doesn't appear immediately. What happens is when they go to this page, that site-wide affiliate offer is at the very bottom. It never goes away, right? It's free, waterproof, survival, lighter, it's gray, it's green. They've already seen it. But as they're scrolling down the page, as they're reading this article, there's also an embedded video that's a how-to video that teaches them how to use a particular fire starting tool. And as they're reading this post, as they're watching this how-to video about learning how to use a particular type of survival tool, this blue and yellow slide-in just appears. And the only page that this slide in appears, the only page that this offer appears on throughout the entire website is this page and only this specific page, which is why I call this a page specific affiliate offer. So as they're watching a how to video about learning how to use this tool, this slide in appears and it's bright blue and it says, here's the free fire starting tool that I use in the video, starts a fire with one strike, check it out. Well, what is it you think I want them to do? I want them to click the big yellow button because if they do, if they go over to the website 
and they order their free sample of this tool, I earn a commission. Now, in example number three, this is what's known as an exit pop. This exit pop only appears when someone is trying to leave my website without clicking any of the other pop-ups. So the plugin does all the work for me. They've sensed that this person is trying to leave without clicking something. So it throws up this big stop page. It grays out all the content in the background. And in the foreground, there's this big white box. And I am giving them my best performing offers, my best selling product. And it says absolutely free. Click the button below to get your free EverStrike match. Check out this combination, ferro rod and permanent match. It's free. And there's a big blue button that says, yes, show me the free ferro rod. So I've designed this entire offer to get them to click that blue button. And if they do, guess what? I've given away thousands of them. And every time I do, I earn a commission. Now, one of the most important rules of pop-ups we haven't talked about yet, but one of the most important rules is you need to use tracking IDs with the affiliate links so you can see which offers and pop-ups are generating the most affiliate sales and making you the most money because that's what it's all about. And fortunately, most affiliate networks, the big ones like CJ.com or ClickBank or JVZoo, they all allow you to create tracking IDs. Even Amazon allows you to create tracking IDs so you know exactly which links and which offers and which pop-ups and which color combinations are making you the most sales. In fact, Using tracking IDs is how I know which pop-up generated the most affiliate sales for me on this particular website. That is the floating bar offer. Now that kind of makes sense because it appears on every single page of the website. And it's generated 3.31 times as many affiliate sales as my other pop-ups. However, because I use tracking IDs, I know that this particular style of pop-up, that this particular offer performs best. And I wouldn't know that without using tracking links. I also know that the exit pop generates one third of my pop-up sales on this website. One third of all my sales from pop-ups comes from this exit pop that doesn't appear until, what? The plugin senses that someone's trying to leave my website without clicking the other offers. So these are sales. One third of my sales I wouldn't have made without using the plugin itself. Now the name of the plugin is available at monsterplugin.com. That's my affiliate link. Use it if you want to. If you don't want to, it's not a big deal. Either way, if you'd like to learn how to make more money as an affiliate, head on over to my website at undergroundtraininglab.com. Visit my blog. You'll find plenty of articles about affiliate marketing. And make sure you check out the one with the title, Three Simple Ways to Triple Your Affiliate Commissions. Because in that training video, I teach you three proven ways that I've used that have consistently helped me triple the commissions that I earn as an affiliate. But that's it for today, folks. My name is Jeff Johnson from undergroundtraininglab.com. If you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor. Give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends on social media, leave your comments below, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But that's it, folks. Jeff Johnson from undergroundtraininglab.com. I appreciate your time, and we'll talk again very, very soon.